power of intention to transform reality. We are always creating our future. We bring it forth through our thoughts, actions, feelings, beliefs, goals, and dreams. Regardless of the level of conscious awareness, this is an exact process that occurs through the law of cause and effect. And present moment awareness, coupled with the future that we create, is a deep reflection of subconscious programming. All of our future goals and dreams are not only a reflection of subconscious thinking, they are also mediated by the reticular activating system. This part of the brain serves as a filter between the conscious mind and the subconscious mind. It takes instructions from your conscious mind and passes them on to your subconscious mind. Because of this biological function, whatever you are thinking about or focusing on will impress your subconscious mind and reappear at a future time. Have you ever decided that you wanted to buy a certain car? And soon after, you see cars everywhere like the one you wanted. That is, how this portion of the mind works. It centers the focus on what is thought about within the mind. Setting an intention plays a key role in encouraging the subconscious mind to bring forth a desired goal, as well as the most optimal future. The word intend means to direct the mind and proceed on a course towards a goal. When you set your intent, you are directing your reticular activating system to stretch towards and focus on your desired goal and future, and to also enjoy the journey getting there. Intention is the starting point of every dream. It is the creative power that fulfills all of our needs, whether for money, relationships, spiritual awakening, or love. Everything that happens in the universe begins with intention. When we decide to drive to the store, walk around the block, or get in touch with a friend, it all starts with intention. Intention is a directed impulse of consciousness that contains the seed form of that which you aim to create. Like real seeds, intention roots within the subconscious mind in order to grow and flourish. However, it is only when we release our intentions into the fertile depths of the subconscious that they can begin to materialize. To gain an experience with setting intentions and positively programming your subconscious mind with the intent seed, try saying the following three sentences to yourself to notice how they feel. 1. I hope my life will be good. Notice how you actually think about this, your eternal pictures, voices, and feelings. 2. I want my life to be good. Notice how you actually think about this, your eternal pictures, voices, and feelings. How is it different from the first question? Number 3. I intend for my life to be good. Notice how you actually think about this, your eternal pictures, voices, and feelings. What is different from the first two questions? Pay attention to how each of these simple changes in your language creates a very different experience. For most people, the first question, I hope my life will be good, will produce some doubt. In other words, Multiple images will appear in your mind representing different possibilities. One is that your life will be good, and the other one being that it won't. The second sentence should produce a different rendition and reaction when you say, I want my life to be good. You will typically see what you want in the future, but you may not see yourself having it now. The future then may feel compelling because you see what you want but there is still more room for doubt because it is more difficult to put yourself into the actual experience of achieving it. This is because the brain recognizes a want as something that is deficient or not currently possessed. The third image of intending your life to be good should put you into the act of fully enjoying your experience and being present with it. Intending for something to happen will generally associate you into the experience of achieving your goal and all the feelings, images, and sounds that go with it. When you set an intention, you are marrying your conscious mind with your subconscious mind to make something happen. It sends the reticular activating system a message that you are expecting the event to happen and there is absolutely no room for uncertainty. 
Once this portion of the mind experiences expectancy, it will intently focus, search for, and stretch towards validating it. Setting an intention is a powerful way of directing conscious energy and attention towards a future goal, which in turn helps the subconscious mind and reticular activating system stay focused on the desired outcome. The subconscious mind and conscious mind are a system that coexists with a larger system that we call reality. The ways in which we think, act, and behave has a direct influence on the greater system of our external reality. Through setting intentions, we are influencing both our inner reality and our outer reality in a way that starts a chain of events into motion. This brings forth a new chain of events that are directly related to our deeper subconscious thinking as well as the overall intent for the desired outcome and journey that unfolds. Biologically, we can't change one part of a system without impacting the entire system. So, through setting an intention, not only do we send a positive message to the reticular activating system to create what is desired, but it also influences the greater system as a whole. Intent setting works well with goals and creating an optimal future, and this is why it is extremely useful to do so throughout the day. Following is an easy process for setting your intent around certain goals and your future. 1. Think of the goal or situation that you would like to set your intent for. 2. Set an intention for yourself in terms of the experience that you want to have in that situation or in achieving your goal. 3. If there are other people involved, then set your intention for the kind of interaction that you would like to have with them. This is to say, what type of experience would you like to have? Maybe you would like to have fun, learn something new, be productive, feel peaceful, be happy or loving, feel respected, be calm and helpful, or feel connected with others. 4. Create a mental movie of what you'll be like in that optimal future situation. Notice what you are experiencing in the situation once you have set your intention. What do you hear? What are you saying to yourself? What do you see? How do you feel? Make the movie as vivid and sensory rich as possible. Most of the time, our mind is involved in thoughts, emotions, and memories. Behind this noisy internal dialogue is a state of pure awareness. One of the most effective tools we have for entering this pure awareness is meditation. Meditation takes a person beyond the ego mind and into the silence and stillness of pure consciousness. This is the ideal state in which to plant your seed of intention. Once in this state of awareness, set your intentions. The best time to plant your intentions is during the period just after meditation, while your awareness remains centered in the quiet field of all possibilities. Remember that intention is much more powerful when it comes from a place of contentment than if it arises from a sense of lack or need. Stay centered and refuse to be influenced by other people's doubts or criticisms. Let go of any rigid attachments to specific results and learn to live in the wisdom of uncertainty. Attachment is based on fear and insecurity, while detachment is based on the unquestioning belief and the power of your true self. The price we pay to manifest an intention is small in comparison to living a life unfulfilled. We must have passion or the energy to do what needs to be done, the courage to consciously face the fears, dislikes, and discomforts about what is required for the manifestation. The courage, awareness, and willingness to let go of all that needs to be released. We must also hold the right perspective. The right perspective is composed of understanding, focus, and creating a fertile space within for our seeds of intent to grow. A clear mental understanding of what we intend to manifest allows us to 1. Realize what we need to give up to permit the creative process to unfold, and 2. Recognize the object or experience when it comes to us as our worlds change. We each need to be aware of what we think and believe. What we think and believe determines how we focus our intention and awareness. 
How we focus and turn determines what we see and don't see in any given situation. The right perspective is needed to create a thinking and belief pattern, a perspective on creation that supports and nourishes our creative endeavor at all levels and in all aspects of our being that is necessary to support our creative effort. In this manner, we can access the energy we need to allow us to face our social and enculturated conditioning that does not allow us to act passionately. It allows us to know how to act. When we have a blinding passion, we have more than enough energy for anything that stands in the way. This gives the freedom to explore and obtain the information we need to create what is desired. During this process, we must be willing to enter the unknown. To truly create something not previously experienced, we must be willing to step into unfamiliar territory. There must be a willingness to step out of mind or outside of how and what is currently thought or believed. Without this, there is only recreation of the past. There must be a readiness to enter the chaos of creation as our existing worlds change and sit in the anxiety of not knowing how our creation will unfold or how long it will take. We must also be willing to set out to do what needs to be done, that is, to step out in action through what comes to us with our intuitive guidance or what the world puts in front of us. This includes facing the obstacles as they present themselves. There must be an ability to both use what is known and feel the way through the unknown. In this regard, there must be a willingness to act on what is felt and not necessarily what we know. To carry us through the entire creative process without being captured by the past or distracted by the physical sense world, we need to be able to create and hold focus on our intentions with an unwavering faith and trust. There are two ways in which to do this. First, we have the ability to create conscious focus. This is where some type of a practice to continually remind the self to act in favor of the intention is created. It may be some type of a daily practice such as brushing your teeth or getting into your car to drive to trigger remembering this. It could be a plan of action with steps chosen to move toward the reality intended. Or it may simply be mindfulness and awareness of each decision and always choosing in favor of the intention. Secondly, we have the ability to create a subconscious focus through some type of subconscious response pattern that continually moves us toward what we desire to create. For example, to create a subconscious pattern that reinforces action in a particular direction you might repeat to yourself, with each breath I breathe, my subconscious mind forms an image of me as the person living in my intention, or with each step that I take, my subconscious mind forms an image of myself as walking in the experience of my intended creations. You can also choose to make these more specific, such as, with every beat of my heart, my subconscious mind forms an image of me driving the new Mercedes that I intend to have. Once established, the subconscious mind will run these intentions on autopilot. That is, it will attach them to an involuntary action that it already takes many times per day. This is a very powerful tool in setting intentions and creating the life you desire. Through forming the ability to stay mentally focused on what is desired without noisy and conflicting mental chatter, our best intentions are given the opportunity to take root. As we remain centered with our intentions, there comes noticeable evidence that something very powerful is happening behind the scenes. Achievement of goals come easier than ever before. We begin to do what feels most natural, and it just seems to work out perfectly, and we learn to allow the universe to handle most of the details while focusing on the high-level outcomes. There is always an infinite amount of energy and information present to create whatever is desired. Through focused intent, we transform energy by reorganizing it. Focused intentions set the infinite arranging powers of the universe into motion. Trust that infinite power will organize the complete fulfillment of your desires. Once you have released your intentions into the fertile ground of pure potentiality, they will bloom when the season is right.